The Karamanids or Karamanid dynasty modern Turkish, Karamanogalari, Karamanogalari Beyliji, also known as the Principality of Karaman and Beylik of Karaman, Karaman Beyliji, was one of the Islamic Anatolian Beyliks, centered in south-central Anatolia around the present-day Karaman province. From the 13th century until its fall in 1487, the Karamanid dynasty was one of the most powerful Turkish Beyliks in Anatolia. History The Karamanids traced their ancestry from Hodja Sa'd al-Din and his son Nur Sufi Bey, who emigrated from Aran roughly encompassing modern-day Azerbaijan to Shivas because of the Mongol invasion in 1230. The Karamanids were members of the Salyur tribe of Oghuz Turks. According to Musan Yazıçoğlu and others, they were members of the Afshar tribe, which participated in the revolt led by Baba Ishaq and afterwards moved to the western Taurus Mountains, near the town of Lorende, where they came to serve the Seljuks. Nur Sufi worked there as a woodcutter. His son, Karameddin Karaman Bey, gained a tenuous control over the mountainous parts of Cilicia in the middle of the 13th century. A persistent but spurious legend, however, claims that the Seljuk Sultan of Rum, Kaykwabad I, instead established a Karamanid dynasty in these lands. Karaman Bey expanded his territories by capturing castles in Ermanik, Mut, Aragli, Gulnar, and Salifka. The year of the conquests is reported as 1225, during the reign of Allah al Din Kaykwabad I, which seems excessively early. Karaman Bey's conquests were mainly at the expense of the Kingdom of Lesser Armenia and perhaps at the expense of Rukan al-Din Kilij Arslan IV, 1248–1265. In any case it is certain that he fought against the Kingdom of Lesser Armenia and probably even died in this fight to such extent that King Hethum I had to place himself voluntarily under the sovereignty of the Great Khan, in order to protect his kingdom from Mamluks and Seljuks 1244. The rivalry between Kilij Arslan IV and Is al-Din Kaykayas II allowed the tribes in the border areas to live virtually independently. Karaman Bey helped Kaykas, but Arslan had the support of both the Mongols and Purvain Sulayman Mu'an al-Din who had the real power in the Sultanate. The Mongolian governor and general Baiju was dismissed from office in 1256 because he had failed to conquer new territories, but he continued to serve as a general and appeared, the same year, fighting the Sultan of Rum, who had not paid the tax, and he managed to defeat the Sultan a second time. Rukan al-Din Kili Dj Arslan IV got rid of almost all hostile begs and emirs except Karaman Bey, to whom he gave the town of Lorende now Karaman, in honor of the dynasty and Ermanik in order to win him to his side. In the meantime, Bunses, brother of Karaman Bey, was chosen as a Kandar, or bodyguard, for Kilij Arslan IV. Their power rose as a result of the unification of Turkish clans that lived in the mountainous regions of Cilicia with the new Turkish population transferred there by Kaykwabad. Good relations between the Seljuks and the Karamanids did not last. In 1261, on the pretext of supporting Kaykayas II, who had fled to Constantinople as a result of the intrigues of the Chancellor Mu'an al-Din Suleyman, the Purvain, Karaman Bey and his two brothers, Zainal Haq and Bunces, marched toward Konya, the Seljuk capital, with 20,000 men. A combined Seljuk and Mongol army, led by the Purvain, defeated the Karamanid army and captured Karaman Bey's two brothers. After Karaman Bey died in 1262, his older son, Mehmet I of Karaman, became the head of the house. He immediately negotiated alliances with other Turkmen clans to raise an army against the Seljuks and Ilkhanids. During the 1276 revolt of Hataroglu Semseddin Bey against Mongol domination in Anatolia, Karamanids also defeated several Mongol Seljuk armies. In the Battle of Goksu in 1277 in particular, the central power of the Seljuk was dealt a severe blow. Taking advantage of the general confusion, Mehmed Bey captured Konya on 12 May and placed on the throne a pretender called Jimri, who claimed to be the son of Kaykayas. In the end, however, Mehmed was defeated by Seljuk and Mongol forces and executed with some of his brothers in 1278. Despite these blows, the Karamanids continued to increase their power and influence, largely aided by the Mamluks of Egypt, especially during the reign of Baybars. Karamanids captured Konya on two more occasions in the beginning of the 14th century, but were driven out the first time by Amir Chupin, the Ilkhanid governor of Anatolia, and the second time by Chupin's son and successor Timurtash. An expansion of Karamanoglu power occurred after the fall of the Ilkhanids. 
A second expansion coincided with Karamanoglu Aladdin Ali Bey's marriage to Nefis Sultan, the daughter of the Ottoman Sultan Murat I, the first important contact between the two dynasties. As Ottoman power expanded into the Balkans, Aliadin Ali Bey captured the city of Bezhir, which had been an Ottoman city. However, it did not take much time for the Ottomans to react and march on Konya, the Karamanoglu capital city. A treaty between the two kingdoms was formed, and peace existed until the reign of Bayezid I. Timur gave control of the Karamanid lands to Mehmet Bey, the oldest son of Aliadin Ali Bey. After Bayezid I died in 1403, the Ottoman Empire went into a political crisis as the Ottoman family fell prey to internecine strife. It was an opportunity not only for Karamanids but also for all of the Anatolian Beyliks. Mehmet Bey assembled an army to march on Bursa. He captured the city and damaged it, this would not be the last Karamanid invasion of Ottoman lands. However, Mehmet Bey was captured by Bayezid Pasha and sent to prison. He apologized for what he had done and was forgiven by the Ottoman ruler. Ramazanoglu Ali Bey captured Tarsus while Mehmet Bey was in prison. Mustafa Bey, son of Mehmet Bey, retook the city during a conflict between the emirs of Sham and Egypt. After that, the Egyptian Sultan Saif ad-Din Ainal sent an army to retake Tarsus from the Karamanids. The Egyptian Mamluks damaged Konya after defeating the Karamanids, and Mehmet Bey retreated from Konya. Ramazanoglu Ali Bey pursued and captured him. According to an agreement between the two leaders, Mehmet Bey was exiled to Egypt for the rest of his life. During the Crusade of Varna against the Ottomans in 1443–44, Karamanid Ibrahim Bey marched on Ankara and Kutaya, destroying both cities. In the meantime, the Ottoman Sultan Murad II was returning from Rumelia with a victory against the Hungarian Crusaders. Like all other Islamic emirates in Anatolia, the Karamanids were accused of treason. Hence, Ibrahim Bey accepted all Ottoman terms. The Karamanid state was eventually terminated by the Ottomans in 1487, as the power of their Mameluk allies was declining. To never again gather and threaten the integrity of the empire, they displaced the entire population to the last man. Some were resettled in various parts of Anatolia. Large groups were accommodated in northern Iran on the territory of present-day Azerbaijan. The main part was brought to the newly conquered territories in northeastern Bulgaria. The Ludogory region, another group, to what is now northern Greece and southern Bulgaria, present-day Kardjali region and Macedonia. Ottomans founded Karaman Islet from former territories of Karamanids. Topic. Flag According to Abraham Kreska's Catalan Atlas compiled in 1375, the flag of Karamanoglu consisted of a blue six-edged star. In the medieval times, this star was a popular Islamic symbol especially among the Hanafi Madhab known as the Seal of Solomon due to the belief that the Jewish king, King Solomon was a prophet, and was used by several of the Anatolian Beyliks such as the Isfendiyarids. As such the seal was also used by Ottomans in their mosque decorations, coins and even in the personal flags of individual pasha e.g. that of Hayreddin Barbarossa. It adorned the tombs of several early Islamic figures in Medina until the destruction of al-Baqi cemetery. Al-Bunni and Ibn Arabi consider the seal to represent the greatest name, and its use remains common in contemporary Muslim esoteric circles. Power of the Karamanid state in Anatolia According to Masalik ul ebsir written by Sehabeddin Omer, the Karamanid army had 25,000 riders and 25,000 Saracens. They could also rely on some Turkmen tribes and their warriors. Their economic activities depended mostly on control of strategic commercial areas such as Konya, Karaman and the ports of Lamos, Salifka, Anamur, and Manavgat. Karamanid architecture 66 mosques, 8 hammams, 2 caravanserais and 3 medresses built by the Karamanids survived to the present day. Notable examples of Karamanid architecture include Hasbi Medris 1241, Sarafetan Mosque 13th century, Insmanair Dar al Hadis Medris 1258-1279, Hatunia Medris, Karaman. Mevlana Mosque and Tomb in Konya. Mater I Mevlana, Aktek Mosque in Karaman. 
Ibrahim Bay Mosque in Karaman Topic List of rulers Nur Sufi Bay capital city Eragli 1250 to 1256 Karamedan Karaman Bay capital city Ermanik 1256 minus 1261 Semseddin I Mehmed Bay 1261 to 1277 notable for making Turkish official language Gunnery Bay 1277 to 1300 Bedreddin Mahmud Bay 1300 to 1308 Yashi Han Bay 1308-1312 Capital City, Konya Bedreddin I Ibrahim Bay 1312-1333, 1348-1349 Alaeddin Halil Mirza Bay 1333-1348 Faradin Ahmed Bay 1349-1350 Semseddin Bay 1350-1351 Hasi Sufi Burhaneddin Musa Bay, capital city, Mut, 1351 to 1361. Sayfeddin Suleiman Bay, 1361 to 1357. Damat I Alaeddin Ali Bay, 1357 to 1398. Sultanzad II. Mehmed Bay, 1398 to 1399, 1402 to 1420, 1421 to 1423. Damad Bengi Ali Bay, 1423–1424. Damad II. Ibrahim Bay, 1424–1464. Sultanzad Ishak Bay, 1464. Sultanzad Pur Ahmed Bay, 1464–1469. Kazim Bay, 1469–1483. Turgatoglu Mahmud Bay, 1483–1487. Topic. See also Karaman Leeds, Karaman, Karaman Province, Anatolian Turkish Beyliks, List of Sunni Muslim dynasties, Karamania Notes and references <laughs>